Hi everybody, it's Siv again from Hunter and Chavi Investments. Um, this uh, week's episode, I'm having trouble with my, my wife's uh, power windows. So uh, the passenger right power window is not working. And uh, I looked on YouTube, I saw a couple of troubleshooting things that the people did. But let me see if you can hear this. Um, first, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button to this channel. You know, if you like content like this, this is a finance channel. This is all about helping you save money either through real estate. Uh, using my affiliate with PropStream, you can help find uh, property owners that don't have the best property or they're kind of in a little bit of distress where they're not able to keep up with uh, their mortgage or wanted to sell, but they can't really sell at a top market value. And you can use PropStream to find these folks and then offer to buy the property or wholesale it. So use my affiliate with PropStream. I give you a seven day free trial uh, you can't go wrong with, that, wrong with that. It's free and you don't have to enter no credit card. All you need is an email. So they're not charging you anything, okay? So it's free. Uh, if I use anything on this channel from uh, Amazon, it supports the channel. So you click the link below. If you purchase something from Amazon, it helps support the channel more. But definitely subscribe to this channel. Give me a thumbs up, like, comment, and share. So this is a 2007 Honda C CRV. It's, uh, I believe, it's an EX model. It has all the leather, moonroof, and navigation system. But uh, today's problem is um, the power windows for the driver's side right is not working. So let's, I'll show you that. So this one right here is not working. I don't know if you can hear it. Let me get closer for you. So you can hear this noise it makes. So it makes like a, almost a water drop noise. that kind of weird I don't know so let's turn this puppy on to give you the diagnostic on this so we're gonna turn the ignition on all to uh, on and normally I can do all this um, people say maybe sometimes you lock your controls back so I did all that so yeah this one works let's see that works back when the works Yep, that works. And then uh, that passenger works. So all those work. So it seems, appears like the master switch for the driver's side seems to work fine. Now let's press the passenger right. So nothing. It does, this button does feel loose coming this way versus this, this has a little springiness to it. And you can see that this one's just like yeah, I can't even pull back on it. So I went ahead and purchased the master switch from Amazon um, just in case it's not the motor. I did try a couple of things I saw on YouTube where the guy took off the panel and uh, tested the the connection switch and the motor and I couldn't get my Continuity tester. He used a continuity tester. Basically, what it is is, you you, because this rocker panels are switched on by when you make a connection, but once it you let go of your finger, it switches off. So it basically, gives you continuity, um, either from positive to negative. Um, this doesn't seem to work either. See, but this, although this has a little more spring in it, so in my opinion, granted that. Um, the master switch worked for every single window and except the driver's side right passenger doesn't work and this one doesn't want to seem to work so I'm going to go ahead with uh, a diagnostic of um, it's the motor so I'm going to replace the motor on this car I did a couple more things just to make sure it wasn't the motor so, yeah. we're going to go underneath the uh, instrument panel here I did look underneath and uh, to see if it was the fuse because you know we want to check the simple things first and not go too crazy replacing the whole um, window motor. But like I said, all the stuff I got is from Amazon. The window motor came from Amazon. Uh, I want to say Dayton. Am I saying to pronounce it right? Dalton? Dayton? Um, under $100. So be careful when you order those. 
make sure you get the motor and the rack. Um, some people just replace the motor, but the motor is attached to a, a cable string, which you'll see soon. Uh, I don't know how would you replace the whole motor without taking the whole bracket with you. So um, make sure it's a complete set. Make sure if you use the one below my affiliate link, that gives you the whole complete set for under seventy dollars. Uh, I'll leave the link below for that too. But then I start looking underneath the uh, instrument panel to make sure it's not the fuse, because we gotta, you know, check the simple stuff first before it start going crazy. So on these, it's right. So the diagram's here, which is funny enough, but the fuse panel is there. So they put the diagram here but the fuse box is actually over there <laughs> make sense no it doesn't but the good thing is the panel let me flip this upside down like this has numbers so you can find different numbers for each fuse and uh, I believe uh, so the trick to do getting this thing off is a little nubby thing here you see that right there that nubby thing just turn to the left and it slides right out there's another part to this so use just a retaining clip that holds it so basically just this, this clip was holding it in but the twisty part just twisted right off um, so let's find our window motor I want to say it's 32 because I looked at this earlier so 30 is power windows. Um, driver. Let me get zoomed in it perfectly. It's kind of blurry there. Driver power window. So number 26 has a 28 amperage. And I'm looking for passenger. So front passenger is, looks like they put AS. Number 30. And that's 20 amp. And then you got the rear left, rear right, power window 32 and 33. And like I said, thankfully, all those are labeled way down yonder. So, see it? So all those. Those are all numbered. Um, pretty much numbered. Take them all out. And you look at number 32, you look for that, okay? And I checked the fuse and it was nothing wrong. All the fuses were good down there, so we're good. So that's step one. And I took apart the fuse, so there's only three tabs holding it. One there, one there, one way in the back. that one no it just clips on so take a look at this back cover which makes no sense because it's upside down and i couldn't find anything about the uh, power window relay or anything like that and i mean the only way you can know if the relay still works is it fails there's no other way to test a relay unless you comment below how would you test a relay um, so just to review Underneath the instrument panel in the driver's side is called a fuse. So in here, in the in the engine compartment, it's called relay. Um, you need both. One's to make sure the current doesn't explode the motor. The second one is to give a like a intermittent current. All right. I hope I'm explaining that right. All right. We're gonna take apart the panel. This is the, the replacement I got from. Amazon so I, like I told you you should order the motor along with the bracket because you can see this motor this is attached so now how would you get rid of this because the, the cables move the window up and down so I don't know why would you order just the motor so make sure you get the complete kit but I'll leave the link below for this one like I said this came with the, the whole the whole bracket and motor that's going to replace in here Set that aside. now the 
panels, they're all clip-ons. Uh, best tool is this tool right here. I, I use this on my other videos. It's a great tool. It takes off the uh, all the snaps that holds panels, uh, mud flaps, all together. It's a great tool. So I'll leave the link below for this tool. Uh, it comes with the kit. So the kit has all the plastic retaining fast snap snappers to, to keep all your panels in place. Because once you take it off, it's gonna break anyway. So might as well replace it. It comes with a tool and a, the whole kit, a variety of um, sizes. So what we do is I'm gonna take off the there's two screws that are holding these the arm here, another screw here, and then two more screws down here. But it's pretty flush. Uh, so pro tip, because I love giving out pro tips for this channel, is um, they're very flush. So you, these two screws are where you need to get to get this whole panel off. Because otherwise the person that opens and closes the door, you know, just come off easily. First let's take off the covers on these. Get to it. So I'm using a, just a, any, a knife, or anything, just to get these uh, covers off. And it's rubber, so the good thing is rubber is not plastic. It's the plastic will break, the rubber will it's more forgiving. And it comes off just like that. Okay. Set that aside. We'll do the same thing here. But this one is a little tab at the top. Push the tab down, and the cover should come right off. assistance here. Push the tab down. Pull this toward me. Now this one's plastic, that's why. It's having a little struggle with this plastic. First one I took out was rubber, but it came out easily. This plastic one's gonna be a little more sensitive. That's why a little knife will help, especially with pointy stuff will help. Um, Phillip heads, Phillip head, Phillip head. Uh, now you can pop this off. This has care for this. I, I, I broke this once already. This is a retaining clip. There's nothing holding else. Holding anything else but the retaining clip. Just grab your tool. Let's pry it back. And just clip on this. There you go. Oh. Two clip ons. I look like I, I broke this piece. This is broken. And then the retaining for this one came out. See how there's a difference in this one? That's broken. If you enjoy this channel, comment below. If you really enjoy this channel, subscribe. And uh, help support this channel. Use the affiliate link. Make a purchase. Use my affiliate link. Grow the channel to give you more content, free content actually. I'm not charging you guys anything. Learn by doing. Stop pulling it away. A lot of screws that are holding it are coming out. Don't be shy. Pull it. Third pro tip. See this uh, door handle? Yeah. All you do is pop it out. I'm gonna plug the back. There's some wiring that I gotta get rid of. One of the most is the. Uh, Door lock and the power window. Oops, sorry, there. So, yeah. Clips to hold it, comes right off. 
Yeah. So my first impression of this was supposed to come through here, but it actually just snaps right off and it snaps in here. Um, uh, here. That's the only thing I was holding. It. Uh, these go into the body of the, the, the car, so it's not those, it's just this one. And there it is. Now, let's get to the motor. This is the motor. Alright, this is connected to the motor. And you reuse your same wiring hardness, all you do is replacing the motor. The motor sits right about here. These three uh, bolts. We're going to peel off the uh, paper barrier. This is your automatic door lock, so you just unplug that. I had to replace this. This was a manufacturing defect um, back in 2007, 2017. So I think they should have paid me for that because that was a manufacturer problem. So I didn't know. With a handy dandy plastic retainer tool. Take this one out. Can't say enough, not enough about it. Get it back. Here's your power door lock. I'm gonna slide this in through this hole here. I think I'm gonna stop peeling back the vapor barrier. Peeling back. Alright, here's the motor. Now, let's make sure this motor matches up with our uh, aftermarket. If you want, the last thing is once you take this off, the window kind of drops. So, three bolts hold the motor, two bolts hold the bracket, okay, be aware. So you have to unscrew the two screws that's holding the window up, and I'll show you how to do that. Because you have to get this window down here to get to it. So let's make sure that our stuff lines up before we start doing any, any kind of major work. Same exact motor. Looks like everything lines up. So, yeah. Here's the bracket I talked to you about. That window has to sit here on these brackets, and this cable moves up everything up and down. So the three screws line up with these, two screws line up with that. So we're in the money. I would say we're in the money. Now we're gonna get the window down here. Just gonna move these wires out of my way. You don't have to, but you know, I have this fun tool I have. There you go. Move it out of my way. Just let it hang like that. Must be um, the bracket for the door, so when they open it and close the door, it has a sturdy piece of steel to hang on to. I just want it out of my way. Have things in my way. Again, I'll move this one too. It's the bracket for the door. I don't know, comment below. I don't know, should I need to remove this off? I'm not an ASC certified mechanic. It's a guy trying to help you save money.
up bracket that holds the door handle. You need to put you know, another pull trip, put that in the mouth. Four? I think we're four. I need to put the bolts or nuts or anything back on the original bracket. I'm old, I can't remember stuff, so I'm gonna have it to remind me where it goes. Now, get this motor down here, it's gonna be a problem. Somehow we have to activate it to get it to come down here. So, we need this to activate it. But the motor's dead. How else are we going to get it down? Problem is, this is heavy. I think a little bit this here. All right, so what I did was I took those brackets off that held the door, these two, like this, took those off. That gave me more room to work. Um, I saw YouTube some of, the, some of the videos, and this window was stuck in the up position, so I don't know how to put it back down. Maybe you comment below how I would be able to do that, put it back down. Um, so the video, they recommended taping up the window, that way, once the, uh, the power window motor is off, because it sits on that, um, it'll be held up by the, uh, we actually have four points of contact, six points of contact, one this side, one on that side. So two, four, six. So that window's staying up, so it's not going anywhere. So I took up the three screws, 10 millimeters that were holding the motor, and then the two, two 10 millimeters up here that was holding the, the top bracket there. It's attached to the glass. So they gave me plenty of time gave me plenty of room to work as you can see. I took that screw out, put the screw is out, you kind of just wiggle it to the left. And I'm glad I took off the bracket now I can wiggle it to the left. Bring this out. Here's the old one. Um, there is a plug to this so you just want to unplug that. Just snap in. So squeeze it together. Just wiggle it out. motor. So let's put the new one in. I do have to get an inspection today so I'm trying to hurry this along before it gets crowded at the, uh, the garage over there. Um, so the other thing is I noticed the windows are being held up towards this two screws are being held up to this door but the window is being held up. The, the window has a bracket itself on the bottom so that way it doesn't crack. So when you do put the screws back in the bolt um, it's attached to the window. So, don't go looking for uh, so it's this bolt. It'll attach to that window there, which already has the 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 female end piece of that. So we'll do that. So here's the old one. Oh, the old and with the new. Okay, I'm just trying to hurry along because. I need to get this car inspected. Today is the last day to inspect the fire. That's almost a direct fit. Uh, this is by Dorman. Uh, and also, it's, like I said, use my affiliate link below. Uh, look at this. Make, make sure you support the channel. So, this is going to go on like this. And try and see what this looks like. So, install this. Have my wife hold this and then drop this window down. That way you can install it right here. Plug it in. Take the uh, foam guard out of there. This is it. There we go. You heard that click, it snaps right in. Now, Position. So there's three, two up top. Okay. I 
my brain fart for a second there. <laughs> so like, where is the other piece that goes with this? I think, oh yeah, because it's down there. So this window is stuck in the up position. Hello. Alright, so I put it all back together, like I said, um, I had to hurry because the um, inspection place was going to close and, and the last day was today to get my wife's car inspected, but now it's all done. New sticker in the window, window there. So the panels are back, everything went back in. I plugged everything in, so I got, how I got the window down was... Um, like I, I spoke earlier, I, I taped those up with the green tape and then when I took off the bracket that held the, the motor and the bracket that held the window, took two those 10 millimeter off. Um, once the motor's off and with the bracket, I asked my wife to hold the window both on both sides of the window and we kind of slid it down. And it, when it drops down, you, it's not that heavy, but just be aware. You just I brought it down slightly. I was able to put in two screws that held the uh, the window to the new motor. So to put everything backwards, I just did the reverse. Uh, and um, it would, so we plugged in the the new motor, and it still didn't work. <clears throat> so you can comment below. Uh, in my opinion, um, I thought the motor was dead, so that's why I replaced it. But having done all that, and the motor was still wasn't working, so. My attention came to this thing, so I was, I was more focused on this. So I also bought a new um, master control for this same car. It's a 2007 um, Honda CRV, and also got this master control from Amazon. Also, so anything I list in the affiliate link uh, helps support the channel. If you make a purchase from it, you know it helps the channel grow. So I determined that it wasn't the motor. But I wasn't going to take it back out anyway, so it's already put in already. So my attention came in here, and I, I took this off. So the trick for this one, I give, love giving out pro tips. I think it's well, I'm pro tip number four now. So the trick to this is the panels come off the same way. <clears throat> so it comes off the same way. You, you take this part off. It's just um, fast snap-ons. Take those off. Um, the whole rim of this panel comes off by just using that pry bar I showed you and I'll put that link below too. This pops off and then can't the two uh, Phillip heads here. Take that off. There's a little clip at the top there. So you want to pull down and then this comes right off. And then another Phillip head here. Take that off. And the last two would be these hidden um they're pretty st stealthy in my opinion. They're right over here. So there's a panel down here. You want to pop that off and get to the the fill pad there, and one more over here, All right over there. Pop that off, fill pad. And this whole panel comes off. <clears throat> so the the pro tip on taking this off is um, we we we'll, we took this off like like the opposite side, the passenger side. Took that off to get to this. <clears throat> what I did was um, I didn't take the whole thing apart. If you look in the back of this panel, you it looks like they wanted you to take this off. They wanted to unscrew all this from the back. I was going to about to do that. I was, you know, short on time for the um, inspection place. So what I did was I flipped this panel upside down and found that it was being held by four screws, four tiny screws actually. Um, this thing that's actually come off, this right here, the stuff I'm touching, that's part of the car. This stuff comes off. These uh, four buttons here, and the door lock and all that, I mean, uh, window lock. So it actually pops right down. So the pro tip for this, what I was, gonna, what I was alluding to is, see this thing? <clears throat> this thing actually on the back side of uh, being held on clips, this um, tattered down uh, pleather. It's actually being held by clips on the back side. So what it is, it popped off the clip, and I got to it right about here, and I can see the the, the, the two 
screws that are hold, being held by these here. So I was able to slide my Phillip head into here upside down. So just remember this will be you know, upside down. Get new, get to those two screws and then the two screws on this side is easy because it's on the open side and that side. And I was able to get that out. So I popped that off, um, plugged it in, tested it, and it was the master control. So I don't know, you live and learn. At least you guys are learning from my mistake that it, even though we did the window motor on the passenger side, which is a good learning experience for people though that want to change their window motor, so we're able to you know display that in this video. So I hope you like the channel. Um, if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel. Subscribe, subscribe. All right, I'll see you in the next one.